I am joined by Scott Kern, COO of Renaissance Hotels, the founder of Guest EQ, coming to us from San Francisco, California. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. Doing good. How's San Fran? You know, it's good. Today is the uh, actual day where the shelter in place uh, order is lifted. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. I uh, have plans to go get a haircut later on today. I haven't been able to do that in a year. My daughter's been uh, cutting my hair with a, a pair of clippers I bought on Amazon. Uh, hey, it looks good. For dogs or something like that. But uh, yeah, for the last year, she's been doing my haircut. So She's done a good job. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. So um, why don't you tell us about Renaissance Hotels? Yeah, so Renaissance Hotels is based out of the Bay Area here. We have seven hotels. Uh, six of them are branded. So we have two Best Westerns. We have two um, Hilton properties. We have two IHG properties and an independent property. Uh, so we kind of cover a lot of the brands. We're actually in the planning stages as well to build two Marriott's. Uh, we haven't broken ground yet on that. But uh, yeah, so we're, we're a growing hotel company. We've been around for 70 years. Um, and it's just a, a really neat company. It's, it's, it's small, but it's big enough um, that, that we just have a great group of people. And, and I've been here over 20 years now. Um, started working at the, the front desk, uh, took over as like a front desk manager, moved my way to sales, did the GM for, you know, one hotel, then moved to another hotel and, and ultimately ended up being the COO. So, you know, it's, uh, it's really a neat, neat group of people that have been here a long time. Well, you weren't busy enough, so you decided to go create Guest EQ. <laughs> yeah, us, uh, boy, tell us about Guest uh, EQ a project. But yeah, so so as COO, as I, I kind of transitioned out of the, the general manager role, I, I you know became COO, and what I figured is you know I, I couldn't be in seven different places at one time, right? You know, I, there was just no way, and so I wanted to try to gain you know a pulse of what was happening at the hotels without being you know over the top and bugging, you know, the general managers, the staff and everybody else that was there. And so I went to market, you know, really looking for a platform that could kind of digitalize the operations of a hotel, just so I could kind of get an overview of what was going on there daily at the hotels. And, you know, there, there were some platforms out there, but they just weren't great, right? We had one that was recommended by a brand. And so I went to that hotel and asked them to, you know, show it to me. And, and the front desk agent went through it and she said, okay, well, you know, this is how I use it. And she started counting her cash store, right? And she was counting nickels and dimes and dollars. And then I said, okay, what else do you do with it? Right. It had all these features. And she's like, oh, that's it. And like, okay, so I'm paying $300 for a calculator. Right. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, I've always been interested in tech. I grew up in Silicon Valley. My dad was a very, you know, early employee of Intel. And so I have a lot of friends that are in tech. And with a friend of mine, we, we taught ourselves how to, to write code. We went to a boot camp, taught ourselves how to write code and came up with the MVP for what is now guest tech. Um, and so it was a really exciting process, right? You know, because what we were able to do there is really create a, a digital platform for operations that was really built by a hotelier, you know, for hoteliers, right? And we also had the ability to have seven hotels that we could test all this on, right? So we would create work orders and when we would create housekeeping items and we would take it to the staff and say, okay, you know, here you go, you know, how, how do you think this works? And they would give us our feedback and we would go and, you know, kind of correct it and, and then bring it back. And so you know, we did that for a year. We really, you know, ran through the whole thing and, and got it uh, to a point where we felt like it was really good. And so then I kind of took it out to some of my friends that were in the hotel business and said, hey, would you want to try this at your hotel? And they did, and they loved it. So then they wanted it for their other hotels in the group. And we went, okay, I think maybe we have something here, right? And so we incorporated Guest Deck, uh, you know, hired some developers and, and uh, you know, started running that out to, to other hotels. And, you know, for, uh, uh, the, the when we started running out, it was around 2019, uh, beginning of 2020, and we saw some immediate success. Had you know some large groups sign up, and we're talking to some brands, and then COVID hit, um, and and you know unfortunately that you know kind of stopped some of the process. There wasn't a whole lot of operating going on <laughs> in March, yeah. um, and so we you know we we at that point decided we were just going to offer it for free to to all the hotels to try to help out, right? Um, we're in a unique spot that we we have you know, other jobs and things. And, you know, I, I just, I, I felt like it, it needed to be something that could help some hotels through a difficult time, right? Um, safety is, is number one on my mind for my staff. When, when I woke up in the morning, you know, ever since this COVID hit, you know, even before that, but especially since COVID hit, 
uh, that we needed to make sure that you know, they were safe and, and to do that in a, in a contactless way, I thought was really important. So we wanted to get that out to as many hotels as we could. And so anybody that was already on a contract, uh, we stopped collecting payments from them, returned their money and, and just, just offered it for free until it's, you know, until we feel like COVID is over. Right now we're hoping we see the end of the light of the tunnel and, you know, maybe that's, you know, somewhere in the summer, but uh, until we feel confident with that, we're, we're offering it to anybody that wants to sign up for free. So it's a, it's an operations app. So what, I mean, Explain the the uh, the primary function, the number one function this is going to provide these hotels. Yeah, so it, it before, you know, so we we built this with three things in mind, right? We wanted it to be simple enough for hotels to use, uh, you know, for users to use. We wanted it to be social, so you know that they were communicating with each other. We wanted it to be efficient, right? And I think what it does is it digitalizes all of the you know the, the operational aspects of the hotel through guest text messaging. Right. And so it has work orders. It has action items, which are like tasks based. And you can assign those to either a group of people, an individual. Uh, it has announcements. So, you know, kind of like memos. It has MOD notes, which are items, you know, kind of like a pass along type log. Uh, and then it has some automation through text message. Right. So when a guest checks in, they get a welcome text 30 minutes after they checked in asking them how everything is in their room, if they need anything, and now they have the text number at that point, right? That they can communicate back and forth from us. And if at any point during their stay, they ask for towels or you know something is broken in their room, directly from that text message, you can create a work order or a housekeeping item that will go directly to that staff member that needs to take care of it. And when they mark that off, the guest gets a text back saying, hey, your item has been taken care of. And then on their checkout time, there's another automated text in the morning asking them how everything went with their stay and asking them for a review. And there's a link there that they can click into either TripAdvisor, Google, whatever you set up uh, to, to just do a one-click thing to, to give the hotel a review. So it's really, uh, you know, it, it's really just an operational platform that's built through guest text messaging. So, so how many hotels approximately are using it? We're, we're a little over 300 right now. Um, oh, wow. So it's exciting, and we're, we're we're back now. I think the brands are kind of seeing some, uh, you know, light at the end of the tunnel as well. So we're back to having some conversations with with you know on the enterprise level with with different brands that are out there, um, which is exciting, right? You know, we want to continue to grow, we want to continue to get better, and and uh, and, and be as be in as many hotels as we can. Yeah, yeah. So what are what what are the staff saying about it? The ones that are using it in these hotels. Yeah, I mean, so the staff really, you know, what we hear back from the staff is it makes their job easier, right? It, it really digitalizes things, you know, so the point that they don't miss things, right? Uh, you know, one of the big things I hear back from from staff is that they're getting yelled at a lot less, right? Um, you know, because, you know, the person on the morning shift, I mean, I've worked the front desk, I know how these things work, right? Person on the morning shift forgets to do something, the guest comes back at nighttime, I get yelled at, right? Uh, and so I think we've been able to make their jobs a little bit easier through there. Through the digitalization project process, there's also scheduling inside of the app. Um, so, you know, we, we, we bought a lot of hotels over the last, you know, 10 years. Every single one that I've come in still has a piece of paper on the back wall with a schedule on it, right? You know, and so that's digitalized in there. They know when they work. Um, you know, it, and, and I think the, the last one, the most important one right now is they feel safer, right? You know, it, it's given the contactless environment where people used to come to the front desk when something was broken. People used to, you know, um, want to spend a lot more time there where they feel like they can have these communications and people are coming less. Uh, and they can still provide the guest service, right, you know, through through that text messaging that they would have typically done at the front desk. We've got about 30 seconds. You are a hotelier. So any advice for the hoteliers out there as we continue through this? Maybe there's a light at the end of the tunnel, huh? Yeah, I mean, I think the light at the end of the tunnel is definitely there. And, and I think it's going to be more important than ever that you're organized in a way that, you know, that we're all going to be kind of, you know, as travel returns, there's not going to be as much business there uh, as we had before in some cases, business-wise or, or, you know, if you're, you know, looking uh, for guests. And so it's going to be the most important thing that, that you're organized, that you're keeping everybody safe, that, that, that uh, you know, you're doing that in a way that, that you get less comps and, and, you know, it'll help drive bottom line there. Well, thank you for joining me, Scott. Appreciate it. Jason, I really appreciate you having me. You bet.